We now show the elusive channel ID right here if you have Heartbeat Moments installed. This is how it looks normally with no Heartbeat installed. And if you're on any channel, suddenly you can copy the channel ID just by highlighting and pressing Control C. This is available through what we are building for you guys, Freedom Family, not just exposing that elusive channel ID, but we are building Heartbeat Moments, which is an extension right here. You can go to it by going to the Chrome Web Store, heartbeatmoments.com. The link is down there in the description below. We'll take you to this page behind me or just search for Heartbeat Moments on the Chrome Web Store. And it's an extension that gives you channel IDs. So for example, if I'm on any, browsing any channel, let's say this one, Gym Motivation JP, sometimes it may not show up. You just have to refresh the browser and then you will get the channel ID. Now the reason you sometimes have to refresh is because YouTube makes it difficult to get the channel ID. And if you refresh, it'll be there eventually. Other features of Heartbeat Moments include the ability to press the H key. Anytime you press the H key, you will create a moment in your Heartbeat Moments. Here I have several moments. I've pressed H a few times in this video. So while watching any YouTube video, just press H and then you can come back to those exciting moments with the click of a button. Click. I am not a man. It's that famous uh, line from Lord of the Rings. Now you can see here some other moments that I have from Kira Knightley in uh, that movie, which name I forgot. <laughs> now you can see what it's doing. It's actually going from one moment to the other, like a playlist. So I collected just the Kira Knightley moments from this video uh, because I like the actress. And then I can just play back those moments. How does this work, guys? Well, let me show you. Let's say I'm playing this video. And let's say I really like a scene here. Press H. I just pressed H and it says heartbeat moment saved right here. Now let's say I'm continuing on and I see another cool scene right there. I pressed H again. Now I save my second moment. Now I can go to this little heart in your Chrome bar and you can see the two moments we created, moment 11 and moment 10. Now let's say we got it a little bit off. Let's say this is not exactly the moment I wanted. I just click edit and then I just skip ahead to get to the exact, oh, let's say I wanted to get the moment right when the big army shot comes in. I can even go frame by frame. There we go. Now I'll give this a title. This is the Lord of the Rings army. And then I can click save. And now I have a loter army right there. Now you can see there's no end time. I can put an end time. Let's say I play it and then I want to add the end time right there. Let's get it exactly right. I'm going to skip ahead by 0.1 seconds until I find the end of that scene right there. That's a little bit too far. Let's go back a few frames. And when I have it exactly, then I'll know right there. So I'm going to save this moment. And now I have both a start and a stop point. The stop point is optional, guys. Some people don't care about stop points. They just want the start point because then they go through them quickly. Like they just would click here, click here, click here. Uh, like this is a cool moment. Now watch what we can do. We can choose the playback to be loop. So if I loop it and I want to watch this arrow trick over and over again, it's just looping because I put in a start point and a stop point and now I can just loop this moment forever. Of course, that gets a little boring, but it's a cool trick, right? She stabs the guy with the arrow, spins, and then shoots the arrow uh, I at another orc. This is from The Hobbit, uh, a scene. Now this whole video that I'm playing behind me is on YouTube. This is, it could be any video on YouTube. It doesn't have to be this one. That's the power of this Heartbeat Moments Chrome extension. And again, you can get it by just going to heartbeatmoments.com and install it. Once it's installed, just press the H key on any YouTube video. Then you can go to see all of your moments by clicking this little heart right here. 
That'll take you to heartbeat.love, all the things you love, not a dating website, where you can see where you can see my heartbeat and these are all of the moments I just created. Look, Loter Army. That's the one where I just made the moment with the army from uh, Lord of the Rings. And the other ones that I was showing you here, oh, that's an alarm. <laughs> Uh, that I had before uh, in the Chrome extension. This is the, these are the same moments, but now on the website. So on the website, you'll be able to do more, like follow each other's heartbeat. Like follow my heartbeat if you like the moments I create. That way, you get moments that you enjoy more easily. You can discover content that you like if you like the things I like. We can meet based on common interests. We are connecting strangers based on common interests. Uh, using these moments as as the common interest. And there's many other benefits that we can get from having heartbeat moments, and those are, uh, on the featured page, we're going to create a curated list of the best of YouTube, as voted by the community, by you, the people who create these moments. We will aggregate all of those moments, rank them, and show the best right here. This basically becomes like a TikTok, but focused on moments, not short form content. We convert long form content, YouTube videos, into short form content, the best moments of those videos. And that will be surfaced here on the heartbeat.love homepage. Now these moments are not curated yet. We're still building that algorithm to suggest the top ranked moments. So that's coming later, but for now, you see the concept. There's a bunch of moments that a lot of you have already created. Here's the one I made, Cool Arrow Trick from The Hobbit. Uh, but there's no, a lot more users now, and we're building our user base. So join the user base. Become a Heartbeat user, heartbeatmoments.com. And there's a second product that we have, guys, and you can find it. Uh, let's see, where can you find it? Not there. <laughs> Just type heartbeat dot photos heartbeat dot photos is our clickless gallery you can just hover over your thumbnails and again we have a featured selection of of galleries that are uploaded by people like you so here is one of my galleries i have my favorite scenes that i collected over the years of different places that i really love and if you like what i like just press H, same idea as Heartbeat Moments. Press the H key to create a favorite moment of a photo that you're looking at on heartbeat.photos. And as you can see, there's a lot of what I consider to be very beautiful scenery. Now we can do a lot of cool things. We can press T to enter theater mode, which you can see what it's doing. It's hiding the interface. I can even press Z to remove the thumbnail, just like zoom. And then I can even press X to fill my browser. Now the entire browser, oh, my fingers are at the edge of my green screen. <laughs> uh, my entire browser is, is, using, is, is filled with just the image. So these are all the hotkeys and you can see them by clicking on this little settings icon. You can, uh, you can explore the options as well as the keyboard shortcuts, uh, which are right here, this little question mark will show you every hotkey available to you on Heartbeat Photos. Or you can just press the question mark key on your keyboard to bring up the same uh, keyboard shortcuts. And if you want to upload your own photos, just click upload. Simple as that. You can create new galleries in the hamburger menu. Just click this button to create a new gallery if you want to organize your photos. And then you can set visibility, like you can say if it's private or unlisted or public right here. And the visibility is just like on YouTube. Public means everyone can see it and we suggest it to people in the homepage, in the suggested photos and videos sections of Heartbeat. Unlisted means we don't do that. Anyone can view it, but they have to already have the link. So for example, if I don't want Heartbeat to show my family photos to anyone, but I wanna send the link to my family photos to my dad, to my mom, to my brother, then I would set my gallery to unlisted. That means I control who can see my gallery by giving the link to those people who I want to see it. Now they could give the link to other people and they could see it too. Maybe those are people I don't know about, but the nature of an unlisted link, just like on YouTube is 
only the people who have the link can see it. So it'll never appear in search results when other people are searching for content on Heartbeat. And private is obvious, it's for your eyes only. No one else can see it. And there's like a, a list of email addresses that you can specify of who can see it, but nobody else outside that list. So it's a very restricted uh, viewership. I would imagine most people would use unlisted, but I encourage you to choose public. Why? Because when Heartbeat allows monetization, which is the next big feature we are building, anything that's on public can be set to monetizable. And that means if someone else uses your photos in their work and that work makes money, we pay you, the photographer, in addition to the writer. Everybody whose content is used gets paid. That's the power of Heartbeat. We are creating a new revenue stream where if you're just a photographer, just be a photographer. Don't think about having to write articles or make videos to make money, just take photos. Then let other people who are just writers or video makers use your photos. And when they make money, you make money. It's all profit sharing. YouTube doesn't do this, guys. YouTube pays one person. Every video, no matter how many people are collaborating to make that video, how many people does YouTube pay? The channel owner. And then the channel owner, he must pay everybody fairly. Now that normally doesn't happen. The channel owner normally takes everyone's content, doesn't care about paying everyone fairly and just keeps all the money. So Heartbeat is designed to solve that problem by paying every single person whose content is used to make anything on Heartbeat. Now, there's a lot more things coming for Heartbeat. It's not just photos and clipping. We are building a Viki, vi.ki. Type that into your address bar and you'll see this, a video wiki combining photos, clips, and text in a new way no one has ever done before. Someone has? Tell me in the comments below because I don't think it exists. So for example, Pentatonix, one of my favorite songs by, or sorry, The Sound of Silence, uh, done by Pentatonix. This is my favorite scene. Uh, the, set, the, the, ec the fools said I, you do not know. Play it. Fool said I, you do not know. So how did I do that? I just edited text. I put in 2.11 and heartbeat made that clickable. This is not a common feature of WordPress. This is WordPress, guys. We built a custom WordPress plugin that allows us to have time codes like this one that jump to that exact moment when you click the link. That does not exist in any WordPress install except ours. To give you a good example of how useful that is, if you're, let's say, reading a game review about Valheim, Valheim, first impressions, is it worth playing? This is a great video by The Lazy Peon. We have embedded it. Come on, embed, show me the embed. Oh, it's making a liar of me. There it is, <laughs> that took a while. So in this game, you can get killed by a tree. Yes, you can die by a tree falling on your head. Really? Show me. Okay, click. And look what happens. It jumps exactly to that moment 338 in the video. I'm not doing anything. It's doing it for me. Down. Where it shows you and it dying only hits me on the head. with a tree falling on your head tree. in this game. Now, it's not just trees falling on your head. As I said, you can have images. This is a, a, a photo, obviously, not a video. If you're reading on and you get to the art style and you say, oh, I like the stylized art style. Show me. All right, let's show you. So now, I like the game's weird the stylized, stylized art, art style. At here first, I thought the textures weren't style, loading properly, but, but that's way, just how the game looks. Of the video it's that certainly... it to. So again, how does this normally work? Normally, you click a link, it opens a new tab on YouTube where you can watch and you don't know when to stop. Then you have to close the tab to come back to the article. It's a pain. We are making it simpler. We are being more useful. Be useful is our mission statement with Heartbeat. We're gonna make money for everybody collaboratively. We're gonna be useful by creating tools like this so that you can read and enjoy what you're reading by seeing the paragraph you are reading at any time. Let me give you another example. There is a experiment that they did on the moon in space where they dropped a hammer and a feather at the same time. Here is the article talking about the Apollo 15 operations on the lunar mission and 
guess what? Here's where they drop the feather. Let's get right to the good stuff. Boom. And the hammer. And let's see that again. Boom. Hammer and feather. Dropping and reaching the ground at the same time. Now you can read the whole thing. You, you can start at the beginning where the astronaut introduces himself, talks about the mission. But it's, you know, maybe you want to listen to that once, but then you just want to get to the good stuff. Click. Boom. That is the power of heartbeat. If you're on Wikipedia, where this is taken from, what does it look like there? Well, let me show you. Oops. This is it. Exact same piece of text with no video, no photo even. You have it left to your imagination, an exercise for the reader to imagine what this experiment looks like. Why? You can have the exact same text with a time code and a video so that when you click it, it just shows you exactly what you're reading. Isn't that a much better way to consume content? We think so. And we're building Heartbeat as a platform for you so you can use these tools to create your content and monetize it. Monetize it when? Right away! With YouTube, you have to reach a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, the 4K, 1K rule, before you can make a penny. On Heartbeat, no problem. Your first piece of content is monetized. If you earn a penny, you get paid a penny. On YouTube, you have to earn $100 after you reach their monetization requirements in order to earn a penny. So these are a lot of the things that we are solving with Heartbeat to make it easier for creators to A, express themselves, B, make money, C, learn something new, B, or D, connect strangers based on common interests, the heartbeat moments, follow my heartbeat thing, remember earlier in the video? All those things are coming in heartbeat. And what we have so far are these two products, heartbeat moments and heartbeat photos. And I'll sign out here so you can see the homepage. This is heartbeat photos if you're not signed in. And that's me in Dubai. This is a picture of our family of oranges. This is me uh, moving from San Francisco, the before and after. And the power of Heartbeat is you just hover. See, hover, no clicking. So you can see things without clicking a thousand times. So again, once you sign in, you'll be able to upload your own photos, share your photos, and explore other people's photos in Heartbeat Photos. All right, guys, I hope this helps. I'm excited, as you can tell, <laughs> with this uh, product launch. We're going to be building a lot more features for you and uh, we'll be making a lot more videos. But for now, I hope you enjoy the new way to get a channel ID. Oh, and what's the other way? Well, you can press Control U, which is View Source. The channel ID is in here, too. Control F, Find, type question mark UC, Enter, and maybe it'll show up. Is it showing up? Where is it? I don't think it's even working here. What's going on? Anyway, that's the way you do it manually. Uh, but of course, forget that. Just install Heartbeat Moments and then you'll see it right here and just copy paste. Uh, much more simple. Much more useful, right? Be useful. If you go to our videos tab on our Freedom channel, you can see the Be Useful video. It's right here. So I encourage you to watch it because then I talk about our mission statement, be useful and click that eye to see exactly this video uh, if you're interested. All right, Freedom Family. So I will end this video here. My glasses are fogging up. I'm sorry about that. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm standing up. I am not sitting down. This is a stand-up desk. I built, or not built, I bought from Ikea a stand-up desk, an electric desk. If you're curious, here it is. And I encourage everyone to get it because it feels much more natural to be standing when I'm making a video. It's like a presentation. Remember when you're in school giving, you know, talks when you're chosen to present something in front of the class? It's nicer and better to be able to walk around, express yourself. Same thing with the stand-up desk. Uh, I just find it's... Uh, I, I enjoy making videos more and, and I feel I make better videos standing up. All right, Freedom Family. Oh, and this is my green screen. I'll, uh, I'll show you. Looks like without the green screen. <laughs> so, this is my environment uh, without... This is my environment 
without the green screen, and of course with the green screen, uh, much more appropriate for making videos. Okay. So uh, yeah, lots of tips I can share with you, but I think this video is dragging on, so let's end it. Today I went for a three kilometer run. Did you? Exercise is very important. You should be exercising every single day or at least every other day. And by exercise, I don't mean take a walk, I mean sweat. If you don't sweat, you don't exercise in my opinion. Exercise, walking is good, all in good, but for you to really get a benefit, sweat. Get that sweat going. And here in Dubai, it's easy to sweat. In fact, going for a walk, you'll be sweating in no time outside, especially during August, the hottest month of the year. But my point is, I did a three kilometer run, so, so can you. I'm a 47, almost 48 year old CEO of Freedom. And if I can do it, you can do it. All right, guys, I've said that many times in many videos, but I hope this is your motivation to get off your butt and get some exercise. You'll feel great, I feel great. I don't feel great during the exercise. I must admit, I don't enjoy exercise, but I enjoy the feeling afterwards. And that's priceless. <laughs> All right, Freedom Family. Until the next episode, who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sun Pai, your Obi-Wan George Nobi, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. And I'm gonna be making more videos about Heartbeat, I'm making more tip videos about YouTube. Tell me down there in the comments below if there's anything specific you would like me to talk about. I'd be happy to uh, make videos about any topic. Until then, until the next episode, I am George, you've been watching. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.